I come in today with my mindset all in doing one thing, and now it's a complete 180. We're doing something else. Not only are we doing something completely different, we have to do it in a really, really short amount of time. We need to be cool, we need to be special. Jake pitched Audible on this shadow idea, which I don't think he really had an idea. <laughs> so we're shooting on Wednesday, which is two days from now, in like a day or two for shooting, a day or two of editing, and then a week of effects. And we chose an effects heavy video. Would you be shooting this? No, because I have three videos to make this okay. week. So who would shoot it? I don't sleep. Ever. It's really been the marathon of time. Filled with diluted nutrients from on the spot. I can't help it, it's the way my mind's wired. I wonder why everybody turns to liars. Social celebrity is not longevity. You can't be mad at the you what weaponry you gave them for calm. Hey Nico, what's that? What's a set piece? Set piece is a moment of coolness. A little self-contained spectacle bit that uh, makes it go ooh. Basically, it's a it's a natural effects project file. <laughs> 62 times 12. Last year, I blocked almost 2,000 phone numbers from my phone. I get about five, six phone calls a day from telemarketers. Every time they call, I don't answer, and then I block the phone number instantly. The next day, I get another four to five phone calls from telemarketers from a whole new set of phone numbers that I have to do it again. And then the next day, and the next, the only day they do not call is Sunday. Always after nine and before 10 p.m. It's really annoying because I have a Fitbit and my arm will just vibrate every time telemarketers call. And this has been going on since last January, so 2016. I may have a solution to permanently get all the telemarketers to stop calling me. We have a brand integration for Audible. You guys have seen a couple of Audible integrations in the Sam and Nico channel, which Ren has graciously uh, recommended some good books to you guys. I love books! <laughs> I love books. They're great. But this time, they've actually agreed to do a integration on the Corridor channel. The downside is we have to turn around a video idea really quickly now, because they want the integration to come out by April 30th. So we gotta write an idea, and get it made and get it out there before the deadline hits. Otherwise, we lose the integration. Except you guys are gonna be at NAB. Or Flight Fest. <sighs> so we have to make a video before NAB. Jake pitched Audible on this shadow idea, which I don't think he really had an idea. <laughs> I think he was just like, shadows, what if? This is a spiritual successor to Brush With Death, to Paper Cuts. It's like there's a very cool like just perspective theme to it, right? The idea of projections. We spent like two weeks last year working on some sort of shadow video just like this and it went nowhere. So we're revisiting it again this year. Yeah, we need an outline by the end of the day. No. I, I would say it'd be up to you to direct the piece in terms of like everything leading up to when shadows start to play. Really just focusing on the mood, the setups, the payoffs, and then I let Ren handle the visuals. So I'm thinking that we do something way scarier. It's two guys, like they're breaking into a property. They kind of split up. Cause like this one guy sees there's like a light on him. This creature that's also a shadow leans out of the darkness and encroaches on him. This shadow creature, if it if it grabs this guy, it affects him in real life. So like maybe it reaches out and grabs his backpack. And so you can realize that if this shadow creature touches your shadow, it affects you for real. Like the shadow just goes like through that guy's shadow. And in real life, this guy- Like stabs him through, just <laughs> Yeah, and then real life, like, you see the guy like blackness appears in his chest with, and like sucks into him and actually yeah so it's like what if it, it starts as black but then slowly becomes transparent but because the background is also kind of dark and black it doesn't feel transparent right away until he's completely gone and you realize you're just staring at nothing yeah now we've set the stakes we know that if you get hit by the shadow creature you get turned into a shadow so now his friend comes into the room I'm going to register my cell phone on the do not call registry from the FTC. It's, it's the grumpy people list. So it's go to do not call dot gov. Do not call registry does not expire. But what I was Googling, it said it takes about 31 days to enact. Even if I do this, I still have to block 162 phone calls by the end of this month. Dude, you loving those chips? <laughs> Dude, where those chips come from, son? Chip fair. The chip fairy? Mm. You literally can't stop once you eat one. Dude, these look really hot. Like spicy hot. <laughs> you are covered <laughs> in sweat. <laughs> it's real, dude. You gotta keep eating them, man, or else you just shut down. Like, once you start eating these things, 
you just have, you can't stop because your body will just shut down. And like, it just, you start sweating. It's like, oof. <laughs> Don't judge me! Oh no! Maybe he grabs like a 2x4 and like sets it up, projects a wall, so the thing can't get through the wall. The light switch on the other side of the room. It's always called the thing that the characters on the screen worry about, but the audience don't care. And all the lights are on the ceiling, and if he ascertains that if he can turn on that light switch, he'll turn on all the lights in the room, thereby destroying the shadows. So he needs to get to that light switch. Trips on the cord that has this one light that's still on, and the whole room falls into darkness. And he's like, oh shit, now he's completely surrounded by shadow. And like, you film like a dude on a black background. You should like reach and like, it should be like, like, yeah. like, like shiny he's, closer, he's getting closer and closer. Pulled. It like should be, you can actually see like the black hands like the darkest out of his face. hour of the character. Yeah, the darkest hour. Exactly. I do like this idea. It sets up the stakes at the beginning. It's cool visuals that probably won't actually be that hard to do if we do it well. It's got a darkest hour where things get the worst they could possibly be and then they get solved right afterwards. Much bigger problem at the end. Who do you think yeah. we should have play the uh, the dude? Brett and I. Brett and I. Have Christian call Brett Skate then. <laughs> it gives us this week to shoot it and edit it, and next week to do effects, sound, and music. So, is, is there like film some right. film rights? <laughs> you should listen to the 80 cent from Film Riot. Dark electronic suspense. Well, I don't get as many calls as Carmichael does, but if I don't know the number, I just let it go. I hate that. Since I'm a freelancer in production, it could be someone calling asking me to gaff or crew or whatever. So hopefully I just trust that they're going to leave a message and I can immediately call them back and still get the job versus miss the call, not get the thing, and then not get the job because they called someone else. Registering right now? Yeah, and I got computer problems, but whatever. Uh, We've got to come up with an overarching idea. Just got to actually write it. The tricky part here is now I have to come up with specifics. We need to lay out exactly what happens. I, yeah, I tweeted this a few days ago, but it's like literally the hardest thing I find to do here at work is literally just coming up with ideas. Just like, strange. I, th I always thought like, you were a big ideas guy. I mean, yeah, I, yeah, <laughs> but here. like... Sure, <laughs> but that is, I consider coming up with a good idea worth doing is way more difficult than any of the visual effects, the production side. Those are all technically hard. This is very implicitly hard. You know, there's like, there's no way, there's no tangible way to measure a good idea until it's like done and uploaded. You know, you can have an overall concept that's cool, but then you need to be like, what's my idea for this line of dialogue? What's my idea for how I step into this scene? How much tension do I want for this moment? Yeah, you gotta just kind of fall back to how you know to structure a scene. You know, so our goal here is to get a cool script completely done today. It'll probably get revised a little bit tomorrow and it'll probably get revised a little bit while it's shooting. But the biggest problem I see is that it has to get turned around so fast and I won't be here. That's going to be really on you and Jake to have the mood and the flow figured out in your minds and you guys have to turn around super fast. You have to make sure that it's efficiently shot and efficiently edited and that all the beats are really covered. I hope that goes smoothly. Hopefully we don't uh, miss this integration opportunity. That's a budget that actually covers the next videos we make for the next month, so yeah. I have to think through the haze of lack of food. The next step in our pre-production day is to just continue. We've only done 11 shots so far. We'll get lunch, get back, and finish the day doing these previous stuff, and hopefully we'll be prepared for tomorrow.